Alright, what is going on guys? I'm your host, Unspeakable Gaming, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Useful Pets mod for Minecraft. It is an absolutely incredible mod that transformed three pets, the ones that you see behind me, a wolf, a pig, and a ocelot, um, or a cat, ocelot, cat, whatever you want to call it. Well, actually, once you tame him, it's pretty much a cat. But yeah, it's going to transform these pets into useful pets that you can upgrade, they can become battle pets, and they can fight for you, they can do tons of awesome stuff. So, the first thing you need to do into this world is generate a world and once you generate a world you'll notice that you have this thing called the pet wand and it gives you some instructions on here which are really simple and then after you have that pet wand if you do not have the pet wand a crafting recipe is really simple uh, if for some reason you need to craft it there's a crafting recipe right here um, there's two ways to craft it you just need a bone and a gold nugget and then there's two ways to craft it either you can do it up and down or kind of like diagonal and that's how you get your pet wand but next thing you need to do is you will need to find yourself either a pig a ocelot or a um, wolf over here and then you will need to tame uh, these the ocelot or the wolf now the pig you do not need to tame because I'll show you why so the ocelot you will need to tame uh, with um, raw fish for those of you who didn't know that the ocelot is tamed with raw fish the dog is tamed or wolf is tamed with bones and the pig you won't need to tame so we have the pig right here let's go ahead and spawn in a brand new pet that we haven't really touched or anything so this is our pig right here and what we're going to do to turn him into a useful pet is we're going to go up to him and we're going to act like we're going to hit him we're going to right click on him so we're act like we're going to hit him like that so we're just going to go up to him and do that and then in the chat it says you have been or he has been converted so just like this one right here and then the top bar is the health bar and then the bottom bar is the hunger bar so the red bar is the health and the green is the hunger which is pretty cool so th each of these pets will eat different things so the pigs right here are going to eat carrots so they're going to eat these carrots right here so whenever he's hungry you can go up to him and just kind of uh, right click him just like that and he will eat carrots you'll notice that his uh bar just went up just a little bit so this guy's uh, actually no never mind he's full so whenever that green bar goes down you can go up to him you can right click him and you can feed them with carrots i'm just showing you how to feed him real quick and then the wolf um the dogs can eat beef and pork so they can eat raw beef and they can also eat pork which is pretty cool so you're going to do the same thing with feeding them and then the ocelot over here or the cat uh he can eat chicken and fish so those are what they can eat whenever they get hungry so you'll notice that the uh, bar is slightly down just a little bit so let's see if we can get some carrots for our pig so you can see that the bar is just barely down so let's right click on our pig and then it fills it up and let's right click on him and then i don't think it'll fill it up for him because he's almost pretty much full so next thing you didn't want to do you're probably wondering how do you level up these guys well let's go ahead and tame our other ones so let's go ahead and right click on that one and we convert him and let's go ahead and right click on him and we convert the cat or the ocelot he's actually turned into an orange and white cat with green eyes which is pretty freaking cool i actually prefer this cat over the black one because i don't know i, th I think he's really cool and now you can actually change the skins of these guys uh except for the pig and the wolf it's only the ocelot because he has different things so to get into the pet menu where you can customize your pets and stuff like that you're going to shift just like this so you're going to left shift on your keyboard just like that and then you're going to right click on him so you can go up to the top and you'll notice you'll have a uh, pet inventory you can click skills but first we're going to take a look at the textures so you have the uh, Siamese texture you have the black texture and you have the ocelot texture you have the red texture which is the normal one so we're just going to leave it on the red one now you can't do this with the pig so if we go ahead and hit shift and then whoops coming back here pig if we oh I guess he's run away <laughs> if we go ahead why are all the pigs running away from me so if we shift and click on him you'll notice that you cannot change the textures on the pigs or the wolves now let's go ahead and go into the upgrade menu now to upgrade these guys they're going to have to get experience and stuff like that but we're just going to simply upgrade by uh clicking on them like this so it says your pet has leveled up so you can just kind of level them up just like that so then we can go back into his menu and we can go to skills and we notice these are all the things that he is going to have. So we have like self-sufficient, which means uh, he can kind of feed himself, I believe, which means you can like put food in his inventory and it'll automatically eat it when he's uh, hungry. And then you can have a health upgrade, which is increases his health by five hearts. You have a uh, hunger, which currently he can only eat one thing, but you can actually upgrade that to where he can eat plants. He can eat gross foods like uh, spider eyes and rotten flesh. He can eat processed food like uh, human 
human food like cookies or you can eat other foods like uh, fish and stuff like that. You also have the hostile combat thing. So you have the combat and he attacks the damage of a wooden sword and then you have a weapon slot and an armor slot. And you can also upgrade the combat to a diamond and other sword which actually you can't actually put a sword into them. Uh, their type of method for a sword is actually called claws. So you have a gold claw, an iron claw, and a diamond claw and these things can actually be uh, um, um, found in dungeons or you can actually change the Kong Feg file so you can craft them so let's go ahead and oh and by the way you can actually do this with pigs if you go up to them and right click them they'll just kind of sit down and stay still so that's what we want you to do right now so let's go ahead and go back into our little menu right here let's go back to skills and if you notice you also have the levels that he's on so i believe this is the guy that we leveled up so you notice if you go into skills he is level 15 and he has free 15 points so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade him and see what he does. So let's go ahead and upgrade the inventory, which allows three slots of inventory. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. And then let's upgrade three more slots, and let's upgrade three more slots. So now, if we go into our pet inventory, you notice he have nine slots over here instead of none that he had before. So he can actually carry stuff for you. So he can carry those useful diamonds for you. But then again, I wouldn't really trust him as much as I would. Let's get that cactus away from him. It looks dangerous. But okay, so we can go back in here. Now so we know uh, we have the little pet slot or the... Uh, things right here where you can actually hold stuff so our, if I were to put that in the spider or whatever in there then he could do that which is pretty cool so let's go ahead and click this a little bit and let's level him up and it says now your pet is the maximum level let's shift uh, click on him let's go back to skills let's actually upgrade his combat so we're going to uh, upgrade the armor slot and the weapon slot and let's just upgrade all this stuff so now he has these weapon slots so now if we go back into him you'll notice that he has a claw slot which is pretty cool so let's go ahead and take some of those claws that we found in our dungeons let's take the uh i guess the diamond ones and let's go ahead and click on him again let's throw our diamond claws right there and you can also put a saddle on actually all of these guys which is pretty cool so the saddle thing is right here so now he has these diamond claw covers so you can spawn i don't know let me go ahead and go into game mode zero and let's go ahead and spawn in a spider and let's see if he uh protects me let's see if he does uh dog I'm gonna need, need you to get away so let's see the spider's protecting me. oh no it's protecting me and it looks like he's going to take out the spider in almost two hits wow good job pig thank you very much so it looks like um he has gotten a little bit of hungry so let's go ahead and grab our carrot and let's right click on him actually no i can't feed him okay i can't feed him right now apparently Maybe I can feed this guy. No, I can't feed him right now. Okay, well, maybe he has to be at a certain amount for you to feed him. So that's actually pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and throw on a saddle on him. Uh, let's go ahead and just search it right here. So let's throw on a saddle. So, of course, we can just throw on a saddle normally like a pig. Um, but actually, with this, we're going to have to right shift click. Then we're going to have to throw the saddle in there. And now he has a saddle. So, of course, we can ride him and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. And the controls are different. You will not need a carrot on a stick to control these guys. You're just going to simply use the WASD keys which is pretty sweet so you can just kind of ride them around like you would ride around I don't know like a horse or something which is pretty cool so they can be they can these guys can pretty much carry your stuff they can do lots of awesome stuff for you so let's go ahead and upgrade them a little bit more actually let's take a look at the other ones of course so let's take a look at the um, ocelot or the cat so he's going to have some different upgrades actually so if you notice he might have some different stuff on here he's going to have some, I don't believe the pig has defense does he actually yeah the pig does have defense and stuff like that so yeah I think they do actually have the same things do they no yeah yeah, they do. Okay, so they do have similar things. I'm just making sure all these guys have the same thing, like the same type of upgrades. They all have the same... Okay, yeah, so all these guys have the same type of upgrades. It's just what you prefer, what you want to have. So if you want to have wolf, then yeah, you can have wolf. I honestly would probably prefer the pig because pigs are freaking rad and of course you can find pigs very easily um, they spawn everywhere in your worlds and also you can have an unlimited amount of pets so if you want to have like a whole army of pets and give them all diamond claws and you could just freaking own the world of minecraft you could probably end up defeating the ender dragon with that which would be pretty insane so let's go ahead and upgrade our pet a little okay come back here come back here i don't know what you're doing oh whoops what what am i doing Oh yeah, okay. Oh, never mind. He's already at maximum level. So let's go ahead and go back to skills and let's upgrade something else. So we can upgrade his mob repellent. I accidentally show you these guys. So the mob repellent keeps creepers away 
and then the undead repellent keeps the undead away and then the radius upgrade so you can upgrade his radius and you can also do the bug repellent which keeps the uh, creepy crawlies away which is pretty cool so let's see what this does let's see how good this works so let's see if we can spawn in uh i don't know a spider i guess so if we can spawn in like a spider over here i guess will he keep that spider away i don't really know how i'm pretty sure if we spawn it in near him it's not gonna work but um i'm pretty sure if yeah see he's starting to run away i don't know really how that works but i'm assuming if you have your pet in your house he's going to if you go outside you're probably not going to see a lot of mobs around the area of your house but then if you look out you'll probably see more mobs so that's actually fairly useful to keep a mob repellent that's actually pretty cool so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the defense so we have fire immune Immunity. He is invulnerable to fire and lava. You have Breathless, which provides immunity to suffocation and drowning, so he won't drown. So you obviously you don't want your pet to drown. That would be pretty bad. And you can also upgrade his uh, extra defense, so he reduces damage by 25%, which is pretty cool. You can uh, his mountable and then his swimming mount, which actually allows you to ride him in the water. So now we can take him over here to this thing, and let's see if we can ride him. Actually, let's go ahead and just get on him, and let's go see if we can ride him in the water which is pretty freaking cool so we can just take him in water and we can just kind of ride around with him which is pretty cool and if you also have the water upgrade you can kind of go diving with him i guess so that would be pretty sweet if you have the um what what, what was the upgrade called again uh, the breathless yeah if you up if you upgrade him to breathless he can provides immunity to suffocation so he won't suffocate underwater very easily which is pretty cool and then you also have the health upgrade which is increases his health by five hearts which is a drastic upgrade i would say that's a pretty freaking big upgrade and you can also upgrade his uh armor slot so we can actually give him let's see if we can give him diamond uh horse armor so if i go ahead and go whoops whoops i didn't mean to do that let me go ahead and shift and click and let's go ahead and give him that diamond horse armor so you don't really see him wearing it but now he pretty much has a full set of diamond armor on and you can do the same thing not just with the pig just for this video i use the pig as a demonstration you can do the same thing with the wolf actually the wolf might be a little bit different i i think the only really difference is is i think i don't think there even is a difference i think the only difference is from the awesome a lot uh the only difference from the ocelot is that you can actually change his texture so if you want to change him back to like a normal cat which is pretty cool so yeah they all have the same amounts of upgrades which is pretty cool uh actually wait did this have the swimming swimming control did that pig have the swimming control i don't did he have the swimming control Yes, he did okay so he has the swim control so yeah most of them do have most of the similar upgrades but yeah so most of them are pretty much going to be similar there might be like one or one or two upgrades throughout throughout them that might be somewhat different but it's going to be slightly the same upgrade so anyways guys that's going to be about it for the useful pets mod for minecraft it is extremely useful that's why they obviously call it the useful pets mod it allows you to transform the ocelot the pig and the wolf in minecraft into useful battle pets that will protect you they can take you anywhere they can be your car they can be your protector they can be your chest they can be your anything so they can even be your hero but guys that's going to be about it for the useful pets mod hopefully you've enjoyed i'm on Spoople gaming and i will see you guys later peace